So this is a Saturday. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the date is. Could be the 23rd, could not be. Um, I painted my nails a glow in the dark because it was laying around, having fun. Right now I'm the only one in the house. We are at my boyfriend's boss's house, house sitting and sort of kind of babysitting for unruly teenagers. And let's see. I let my cat out of the room because we were pretty much living in this room right here. Gorgeous room, right? And sleeping on that couch. And I finally let him out and he's actually being really brave, which is shocking considering there's a dog in the house. Fascinating to me. Where are you going, Pep? Huh? What are you doing? You gonna go upstairs and check out the landing? That's where I would go if I were a cat. You want to shed some light on the situation? Someday we'll have a house this big, I hope. And then you'll have a whole huge territory to rule. Don't get under there. You gonna go upstairs? Are you gonna go upstairs? No, a little too far for your, uh... But anyway, this is the landing. I always like these in houses. I don't know why. Even though I'm, like, deathly afraid of heights and doing this makes me incredibly nervous, I still like them for some reason. But this is the landing, and Kitty is now right there. And Doggy is down there, so I should probably get down there too, just in case. Not that I'm worried about the dog, I'm just more worried about the cat freaking out and having a tra traumatic experience. Oh, getting brave, huh? You getting brave? Where did puppy go? Puppy's eating. You gonna go investigate? That's where the puppy is, so watch out. He might eat you. She might eat you. Kidding, kidding. Look at the tail going. My little explorer. I have a feeling that as soon as uh, Allie's done eating over there in the corner, that she's gonna come out and he's gonna go flying. <laughs> and we've been doing laundry, which is, as a uh, housewifey that doesn't have her own facilities, is grandly exciting to me. That's Allie's butt. Allie's finally eating, look at that. Maybe we just needed to give you more attention. Uh, let's see, where'd Kitty Cat go? What are you doing, Go? Are you exploring? So that's pretty much our uh, first time he's been out, so I just gotta keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't end up under the couch or something, because that's his, uh, his M.O. So that's about it. We are here until Monday, maybe Tuesday. We're not quite sure, at least I'm not quite sure. So I'm guessing they'll let us know. Um, other than that, I've got little Fockers on the TV, which I've never seen before and I'm still not paying attention to, which means it's not that good. Um, let's see, there's a hot tub outside. That's my, uh-oh, big noises. You scaring yourself? They have a hot tub outside, so that's my next goal. The only thing I'm worried about is the beetles and the nasty buggy things that might be out there. So I'll try to avoid that. I'm thinking of waiting until Rob comes home to go out there. But if I do that, God knows when he'll be home because he always says he's not going to take a long time and then like four hours later, he's still not home. And it is a 45. So he left at like, I don't know. Oh, look, he's home now. So I guess I'm going to go corral the kitty back into the room so he doesn't freak out. Actually, I'll just leave him be. This is uh, my new approach is to stop being so paranoid and panicky and maybe he'll be fine. Oh, that might not even be Rob. That might be somebody else. Who knows? It could be the kids. Anywho, that's enough for now. Ta!